tale for Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt had a special for Thomas. You ought to take two of Miss Jenny's machines to Maithwaite Forest. They're repairing the lightning tree. Yes, sir, said Thomas. Jack and Alfie were excited. They couldn't wait to see the lightning tree. Why is it called the lightning tree, asked Thomas. It was struck by lightning, said Jack. It's a very old and rare and special tree, added Miss Jenny, which is why we need to repair it. But how will we know which one it is, asked Alfie. You'll know, Kelly laughed. It's the biggest tree in the forest. We need to prop it up before it falls over, said Miss Jenny. So be careful, all of you, and remember, safety first, Jack and Alfie called. Beep, beep. Jack and Alfie made their way through the forest. Look, gasped Alfie. The lightning tree, cried Jack. The foreman had inspected the damage. Roots were pulled up. The lightning scar was long and deep. The tree looked like it would soon topple over. Jack and Alfie approached very slowly. They had remembered what Miss Jenny said about being careful. But Max and Monty were racing recklessly through the forest. Look out, cried Alfie. You'll hit the tree, shouted Jack. But it was too late. Max crashed into Monty, and Monty crashed into the lightning tree. Who put that there, grumbled Monty. The tree's falling down, shouted Jack. Not my fault, called Max. We must save it, cried Alfie. Help, Jack! I'm coming, called Jack. Move aside, little fella, said Oliver. Oliver braced his mighty arm against the tree, but the tree was too heavy. Kelly, shouted Jack, we need more help. Before long, Kelly was helping too. The three of them struggled to hold the tree upright. Get the props, called Kelly's operator. Jack raced off to get the props from Thomas. <laughs> the machine strained to hold up the tree, but they were getting very tired. Soon the prop trolley had been attached to Jack and he was on his way. Thomas hoped Jack would get to the lightning tree in time. Jack went as fast as his wheels would carry. Alfie pushed and pushed until his arm ached. I don't think I can hold this much longer, groaned Oliver. But Jack raced up just in time. The workmen soon attached the props. The lightning tree was safe. Hooray, groaned Alfie. Miss Jenny was pleased. A terrific job, she said. The lightning tree is saved. Kelly, Oliver, Jack, and Alfie were proud. But no thanks to you two, she said to Monty and Max. You'll return to the yacht immediately. Max and Monty were ashamed. They knew they were in trouble. Later, Thomas was taking Alfie and Jack back to Miss Jenny's. Look, cried Alfie. You can see it from here, called Jack. It was the lightning tree. Thomas was glad it was saved.